Quakers have always been present in the history of Philadelphia. Quaker beliefs led to their involvement in events like the 19th century abolitionist movement. These genial, warm-hearted people have woven themselves into the backdrop of Philadelphia's past as a shining example of peace, integrity, and service. Today, the Quaker Meeting House at 4th and Arch, established in 1804, stands as a monument to the Quakers' longevity in a city that has grown up around it. This place is significant because, by my standards, it's still here although the city has changed around us over and over and over again. New buildings are being built. Stores have opened. When Starbucks moved into the corner building at 3rd Street, I thought to myself, my goodness, this is a whole new thing for down here. And it certainly was. It was the beginning. The Meeting House has held generations of friends in its old brick walls recycled from the bricks of five other meeting houses that once existed in Philadelphia. But as time progressed, it was inevitable that the quaint building house would change to accommodate the needs of a new generation. The meeting house is still used by today's friends, and therefore it needs an elevator, it needs multiple bathrooms, it needs a caterer's kitchen. All of those things have been added, plus a meeting room for today's friends that's air-conditioned, which in Philadelphia is a great benefit. For the sake of antiquity, the Meeting House made sure to keep a lingering testament to its modest beginnings. This room maintains its original floors, its original benches. The cushions filled with horsehair are the original cushions. The only thing in here that really strikes you as different are the lighting fixtures overhead, which were added in the 1960s. And as technology evolved, so did the meeting house. This meeting room has gone through candlelight, oil lamps, gas lights, and electricity all the way through. As with many religions, the population of Friends has gradually declined. Before the American Revolution, the Quaker population totaled 40,000 in Philadelphia. Since that period of time, the number of Quakers has declined to 11,500. In the dimly lit meeting room, you can almost feel the presence of the generations of friends to whom the meeting house was a sanctuary of tranquility. It's fair to say that the population has dropped as many of the faiths in this country have lost a good deal of their membership, so have Quakers. We don't believe in proselytizing. That's one reason we've lost members. Uh, we don't put any pressure on people to be a Quaker. The community of Friends retains its sense of peace even as the world changes around them. It's the community that I have of Friends with a capital F and a small f. What we're looking for is people who are Quaker and don't know it, and that frequently happens. That someone comes to Quaker meeting and say, oh, this is it. The Quakers have a long-standing reputation of being peaceful and helpful. For over 208 years, the Quaker Meeting House has stood as a monument to the Quaker values and will continue to remain as an important part of the community for years to come. This is Summer Gary with WHYY Young Journalists.